Hey guys, this is Sasha from NetbookNews.com. Um, we're still at the IDF, and over here we are at the media room, and Intel has a huge lineup of classmate PCs, and I just met Jeff Galinowski, who is over here. How are you? Oh, pretty good, Jeff. Jeff, tell us a little bit about your classmate program, what you are doing. Okay, um, so I'm the regional manager for all of our classmate PC activities in North America. Um, one of the responsibilities for me is building out our ecosystem. So when we look at Classmate, um, which is a purpose-built netbook specifically designed for kids in education, um, we've got a lot of the features um, that really highlight this as a kid's netbook, right? We've got the handle, um, the ability to drop it, um, the rotatable camera, um, the smaller keyboard, the smaller form factor, the lightweight, uh, high power, affordable netbook. One of the key pieces to this netbook, and I look at this as a kind of a competitive advantage for the Classmate PC series, which are carried by our local OEMs, um, is our vast ecosystem. Like, we can step through some of those ecosystem elements. That'll be right fantastic. Now. Just show okay. us something. Okay. Um, let me start over here. We're working very closely with something a lot of people already know about, which is LEGO. Um, LEGO Education, the education arm, has really been working with Classmate PC to create a robotic set for elementary school students. The target market for Classmate is K through six. We really want to make sure we've got a solution at K through six. And so what Lego has done is created this really cool thing. If some of you are familiar with Mindstorms, which is the bigger robotic sets, this is Mindstorms but for uh, elementary school kids. So here's a, an example. The kids would actually use the touch screen to drag and drop and program certain elements, which I've already got a program running here, which basically waits for a light sensor turns the motor one way, plays a crunching sound, turns the motor the other way, and then reloops. What does this do? Well, I've got a cool little alligator over here. And when we stick our finger in here, the alligator chomps on our finger and then releases it. That's fantastic. Something a, a first grade or second grade could do. Yes. Another tool that we have here, um, this is really a physics tool. This allows kids to create some kind of a field in here. And it could be, um, it could be a neat little design where you've got you know a car and some water and a, uh, a trapeze guy. Everything that's on here interacts like real physics will. And I'll give you an example. Right now I've got a little ball drop here and if you watch as I rotate this I get stuck. Sorry. I'm rotating it around. It's using the accelerometer and the classmate and if you notice the ball bounces and interacts with the environment just like a real ball would. And I can add other elements here. There's springs, there's balls, there's levers, there's all kinds of things that interact just like a real physics tool. This is called Art Rage. And this is, I've got paint, I've got markers, I've got crayons, I've got pencils, and it works just like it does in real life. So markers mix with each other, paint mixes with each other. If I want to, I can draw and bring up here a really quick water lily thing that I'm gonna trace. And the first thing I'm gonna do is squirt some paint down. And the paint I'm picking up from where I, my marker or where my stylus first hits, and it picks that color and creates a paint tube of that color. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to bring my mixer here, and I'm going to mix it and make a nice little background. And you can see some guys moving around the screen. To give myself some really cool surface to do a little bit of abstract drawing here. So I'm going through, and I can use my finger on here as well. I'm just using a stylus because yeah, it's a little yeah. easier. Um, and then I can come here and let's pick the glitter and make some of these water lilies just pop right out. And they can create their own environment. Great. Um, we've also got... And then if I turn off the image, now I have a cool little abstract painting that I just made. And that took me, what, 45 seconds or less? That's really cool. Okay. This really showcases how you... There's a couple other examples. This is Young Digital Planet. Um, this is an educational e-content publisher that um, has some great tools. Right here we're seeing um, pattern matching tools. And these are lesson plans that can be run. So not only do we have cool software and cool hardware, we've also got content. Here's another example. This is Childtopia. This is another content provider that's a secondary content. And this is a huge collection of educational games, stories, and worksheets for students. This is web-based, but you can learn how to draw. And it's fun. It's interactive. They're characters. Now, let me add one thing here. The interesting thing about all this stuff is we are all looking at how to make learning fun. Right. Okay, these tools, kids love this. I see these kids get excited about using these applications because they're kind of like games, but they're teaching them something. Right. And I've right. seen that with my kids when I use that as well. 
Um, this is a note-taking program called Evernote. Um, it you know, gives you the ability to write handwritten notes or type notes. Kids need this for taking notes in class. Uh, Micro Worlds Junior, this is actually Micro Mundo, which is the uh, Latin America version of it. But it allows kids to write um, programs to make drawings and also to animate those drawings. Now, the last one I'm going to show is uh, a demonstration of another, another science tool. Um, this is a phenomenal tool that Pasco Scientific has worked with us. They do science sensors. So here's an example of, 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 a, of a temperature sensor. They have hundreds of other sensors. What I'll do here is I'll actually start running. It instantly recognizes I'm a temperature probe and it's tracking. So I'll warm this up a little bit. Um, you can see it start to, start to warm up. Uh, I'm, I'm a little cold today. So. But then I can take this and drop it into here and you should see you can see the temperature drop down, and if I change the scale, right, you can see that. So now, look, I'm interacting with my fingers. The other cool thing is, let's say I want to add something here. Uh, let me stop this. Let me go back to the home. Let's say I want to customize. This sensor actually has three different sensors. It's got a light sensor, a sound sensor, and a temperature sensor. Let's say I want to build a new, a new probe. So I can show my probe temperature as a graph. I can show my light sensor as a number, and I can show my sound level as a little bar, as a little uh, gas gauge. And I hit OK, and then I hit play, and now I've got the sound. You can see my voice is picking this up. Yes. The light, it's kind of hard to see in here anyway. It's kind of dark, um, but I can get a little go. bit there of a reading. Go. And my temperature, which is already in the cup at 20 degrees Celsius. So, Fantastic. very easy. And the other cool thing is this integrates with content. So now yeah. I can have a workbook in here, and it would tell the kids, okay, draw on the graph what you think would be um, what happens when you dunk this into hot water and when you dunk it into cold water. Now actually do it. Did that match your expectations? Right. So, this is a handful of over hundreds. We have over 280 um, uh, ecosystem partners in our ecosystem today. This is just one example of how Classmate PC is really bringing an end-to-end -end education solution to the education space.